Namaste and welcome. This is a 20-minute practice with chair support. Some of it will be done in standing and some of it will be done seated. Let's begin right now by doing some rotations of all the joints, starting with the hands. So you'll take your hands and open them wide and expand through the fingers as you stretch your arms. And as you exhale, squeeze your fingers as you bring your elbows back. Again, inhale the hands forward, stretch the palms. And exhale, squeeze the palms as you bring your elbows behind your back. Inhale, stretch, open the fingers. Exhale, squeeze, bring the arms back. Inhale. Exhale. Now see if you can go a little higher. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And for the last one, go wide outwardly. So inhale, open. Open the chest. Exhale, squeeze the palms. Good. Now from here, Keep your hands in fists and then slowly rotate the wrists in one direction on the inhale and exhale in the other direction. Keep going. Inhale in the same direction. Exhale in the opposite direction. Inhale, feel the stretch and exhale in the other direction. Now, bringing your hands on your lap, on the inhale, you're going to interlace your fingers, press the palms away from you, and stretch from your shoulders. And on the exhale, bring the back of your hands towards your chest. Go a little higher. Inhale, stretch the palms, and exhale, bring the hands back. Inhale a little higher. Exhale back. Now, you can go as high as your body will allow. If you can, on the fourth round, stretch straight overhead, and exhale, come back. Release the hands down, and let's work with the shoulders. Inhale, roll the shoulders up towards the ears, and then exhale and roll them back and drop them down. Again, inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, up, and exhale, down. Wonderful. Okay, then from here, feeling your neck. Inhale, lift the chin. Exhale, drop the chin to the chest. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, come back to neutral, drop the chin. One more time, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, drop the chin. Now come back to neutral, and I want you to grab a hold of your right leg, hold on to your knee, and what you'll do is inhale, point the toes, exhale, flex the foot. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Now circle rotations in the ankles. Inhale, circle the ankle in one direction, and exhale, go in the other direction. Inhale in that same direction. Exhale, go back. One more time, in and other direction, out. Wonderful. Then from here, lower the leg down. Let's do the other side. Grab a hold of your left knee. Point the toes as you inhale. Flex the foot as you exhale. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, flex the foot. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, flex the foot. Now, circle rotation in the ankle. Circle in one direction on the inhale. Circle in the other direction on the exhale. Feel the functional movement of the, of the ankle joint. Inhale in one direction. Exhale in the other direction. One more round. Inhale one direction. Exhale other direction. That's it. And then slowly lower the foot back down to the floor. In this movement, I'm going to ask you to open up your chest. So as you inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, come back to neutral. Inhale, lift the chest. Lift the sternum up. Exhale, come back to neutral. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, come back to neutral. Good. So from here, I'm going to ask you to come to standing. 
and you're going to take the chair, making sure that it's the back of the chair that you're using for support. And we're going to begin with our feet a little bit wider than hip width distance. And we're going to inhale, open the arms out to the sides as much as we feel comfortable. And on the exhale, bring the arms back in. Inhale, open the arms again, bring the hands back. Exhale, lower the arms down. A third time, open. Exhale, lower. And let's go a little higher. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, higher. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, and come back down. Good. Now in this next variation, we're going to inhale the arms out. And this time, exhale. And bring the right arm across the chest and twist to look over your left shoulder. Inhale, open the arms out. Exhale, bring the left arm across, over to the right shoulder, look over the shoulder. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Try to bring the hips and involve them in the twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. One more time. On each side, inhale, open. Try to open the palms. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, twist. Now inhale, come back through center, open the arms, and lower the arms back down. Take a moment of pause. That's it. From here, we're going to use the chair. I'm going to ask you to use the chair to move into a sequence that's a little bit more for your pelvis. When you inhale, you'll take your hips forward with your hands on the back of the chair. And as you exhale, you'll lean back. Just send your hips back as far as it's available for you without overstretching in any one part. Pay attention to what's happening in your body. That as you inhale, you come forward. Some of us can go more forward than others. Just find your capacity. And exhale, as you come back, just feel the stretch without imposing any overstretching in any one joint. Pay, pay attention. And then inhale, come forward again. Open the chest. Exhale, lean back with your pelvis. Just feeling each time you do that, every, every joint is being stretched. This is a wonderful movement for the whole body. If you're seated a lot during the day, for you to move the pelvis in this direction. That's wonderful. Both directions. Okay, come back up now on the inhale. And I'm going to ask you to step your right foot forward with your left foot back. Okay, so this is a very similar one, but we're working with one area more than the other, one at a time, more effectively. On the inhale, you're going to bend that front knee and open up your chest. Feel what that's like. That's called warrior. When we exhale, we'll send the hips back and try to stretch the front leg while trying to bring the forehead towards the back of the chair. Okay, you don't have to touch it, but move in that direction. Let's try it again. Inhale, the front knee bends. You open the chest. See how I'm opening my chest? Exhale, straighten the front leg and try to lower your gaze. Again, inhale, open the chest, hands on the back of the chair. Exhale, lower your gaze as you straighten your front leg. Now stay here and take a deep breath in and out. Again, inhale. Feel the stretch in the back of your right leg and exhale. Try to send your right hip back. One more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay. When you're ready, bend the front knee a little for balance and step forward. And then we're going to step the right foot back with the left foot forward. We'll do the other side. So three times dynamic. On the inhale, bend the front knee. The back heel is fine if it comes off the floor. The main thing is you get this back arch you can see in my spine. On the exhale, lower your forehead to the top of the chair. Inhale again, bend the front knee, open the chest. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Send the left hip back with each of these movements. Inhale, now the most important part is not so much what your feet are doing, but more that you're opening your spine. That's the most important part of the body in yoga, in life. That's where the central nervous system runs through. And then inhale here. 
and exhale here. Okay, again, inhale here. You may lift your chest if you like. Exhale, fold a little further. Just staying here, you're going to feel a stretch on the back of your leg. Inhale and exhale. Okay, and then inhale, come forward. Wonderful. Take a moment to relax here and feel what's happening in your body. Feel your shoulders, your neck, your spine, your hips, your legs, and your feet. Now with both hands on the back of the chair again, we're going to step our feet back and we're going to do a variation of a squat. So this is a functional movement we all need uh, every day of our lives because we have to get up and out of bed, we have to sit on toilets, we have to bend down to get things underneath the kitchen uh, cupboard. All of those things require this important movement where you inhale, you can stay standing, but as you exhale, sink back with your hips, bend your knees. Okay, and try that again. Inhale. Maybe each time you do this, you go a little bit more, a little bit further, a little bit deeper into the squat. Again, inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale, come up. And exhale as you squat. Okay, and then come up again. Inhale. All right, and take a moment to observe again the sensations in the body. Feel what's happening in your pelvis, in your legs, in your shoulders. The aliveness of the energy and the flood of circulation now that's traveling through you. Okay, I'm going to ask you to open your legs now. And when I say that, I mean not a little bit wider than hip width, but significantly wider than you're used to. So you can really open up your pelvis for the next movement. This is a twist with the whole body. You'll inhale, open up the arms. And on the exhale, you're going to bring your left arm around the back and bring the right hand onto the chair. Bend the left knee. Okay, we'll do that again. See what I'm doing? I'll inhale, open, and on the exhale, I'm going to twist very slowly, one hand around the back, looking down, bending the left knee, feeling the whole spine twist. Inhale, exhale. Okay, now inhale, come up, and exhale, lower the arms. I'm going to turn around so that we can do the other side. Wide legs, inhale, open the arms. Exhale, I'm going to bring the right arm around the back, support it by the top of the chair and look down. I'm bending my right knee because the real work is happening in the pelvis. Inhale, exhale again and twist. Inhale, exhale and twist. Okay, inhale, come back up. Exhale, lower the arms. This last one is a balanced posture in standing. I'm going to ask you to hold on to the back of your chair just for to start. And you're going to inhale, and on the exhale, pull your right knee up towards your chest. Now, some of you can let go and hold on to the leg with both hands. But if you feel it's a balance, too much pulls you out of the balance pose, then just hold on to the, the chair with the other hand. See if you can inhale and lengthen your spine. And on the exhale, stay standing and fix your gaze on one spot, maybe on the floor. OK, keep breathing in and out. Press down through all parts of your foot. Inhale, exhale. One more breath in and out. Lower your foot down. Shake it out. Let's try the other side. Press down on the right foot. Of course, use the, the chair if you need to. Inhale here. Exhale, pull your left leg towards you. OK, you can hold the chair if you need to. But either way, keep your gaze focused and inhale, lift the sternum. And exhale, settle your foot on the ground. Feel the ground underneath. Inhale, exhale. Back of the neck is long. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale here. One more breath in and out. 
Wonderful. Lower the foot down. Okay. And now we're going to sit back down on the chair for the remainder of this practice. So sit down on your on your chair. Okay. And we're going to do a forward fold here. So when you inhale, lift the chest up. And when you exhale, slide your hands down your ankles. Relax your head and your neck. You're going to slide your hands back up towards your knees. Open your chest. And let's try that again. Exhale. Now some of us are going to go all the way down to the ankles, and some of us are going to stay here, whichever your pelvis will allow. Inhale, come up. Exhale, down again. Take a breath in here and out. Inhale. Exhale. Then inhale, slowly make your way up. And keep your legs wide. Okay, just walk your hips slightly forward so that they're right at the edge of your chair. Even if you have armrests, just allow that the pelvis has enough opening, so it's come forward to allow for that. Okay. Now we're going to end with some breathing practices. In this breathing practice, I want you to bring one hand to your chest and one hand to your belly. Keep the back of your neck long and make ensure that you're not slouched forward. So keep yourself lifted in the chest. Inhale here. Hold for one, two, three, and exhale. That's the work. Now we're going to breathe in for a count of five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Hold. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Hold. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Let's try that again. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's do three more at six. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Let your breath return to a natural breath. Feel what's happening in your ankle joints, your knee joints, your hip joints. Feel the shoulder joints, the neck joint, the elbow joints, the wrists, and the joints of the fingers. Thank yourself for your practice. Inhale the palms together and exhale, bow down. Namaste.